I told you there would be a moment. Well, guess what? The moment's here. The fire is pumped. Let's go! Boxing King Media, a proud, proud brother, Shane Fury. Shane, we've just seen your dad do probably one of the best post-fight celebrations. Can you top that? No, definitely not. I don't think anyone can top that. Listen, but we're all happy. My dad, a picture how proud my dad is. You know, he's got one of the greatest fighters ever been in Tyson. And then striking, uh, lightning struck twice for me as well. You know, that fight today was as big as any world title fight I've ever been to, you know, so, listen, done well, Tommy's a ranked novice with eight fights, and he had ten amateur fights in about six weeks, ranked novice, when he gets, when he gets his feet underneath him, he'll be, he'll be better again, and he can only get better. Uh, and like I said to your dad, how does he top that, he's just headlined at 23 years old, pay-per-view in Saudi, how on earth does he go back to like your call, or just a, a small arena in, in the UK? Listen, there ain't no normal boxing for Tommy no more. You know, let's get the rematch with uh, with Jake. Let's do the KSI fight. And when they're done and he's cleaned up them, then he can make the decision if he wants to play around with boxing for 10 or 15 grand. Realistically, it's up to him. Deontay Wilder feels Jake Paul got robbed. I spoke to him post fight. What do you make of that? Deontay Wilder's a prick. You know, Deontay Wilder has talked about my brother for two years. When he's seen him face to face, he come over and cuddled him like a bitch. That was the facts of the matter. He would say that because he's a prick. Shane Fury, I'll let you go and celebrate, man. Thank you for your time. Come on. I told you there would be a moment. Well, guess what? The moment's here. The fire's coming. Let's go!